Hey guys, welcome back to a new Collection to Glory video. I'm not 100% today, but we will still, of course, make a Collection to Glory video. Uh, and I will talk about probably the biggest mistake uh, I have made so far in this series. And it involves a Rosenborg collection and also uh, me wanting to move on to um, buying actually a Manchester United collection. I will talk a little bit more about that and I, of course, want to hear your opinion. Do you think I should move away from, not to move away from champion, because we have a lot of champion Europe teams, but maybe slightly move to uh, other regions, for example, Contender and Challenger? I would really like to hear your thoughts on that. But as you probably know, I bought a Rosenberg, or we, I like to always say we because it's our series. I bought a Rosenberg collection uh, that um, uh, was the 2023-24 to 24 season collection. I think it was, uh, and uh, we can actually find it on the screen right there. This, and as you see now, we have only one card. You probably wonder why, and that is because Sawyer announced that, um, if we scroll here, uh, <clears throat> if we go to view all and then we go to news, we can see here that, uh, yeah, 2024 Rosenberg cards have landed. So that means that every single um, yeah, the 5% season bonus of course got removed and I bought the cards recently. So every single card we have been on 2, 3 or 4% which isn't great. And also Rosenberg lost 5 nil in their, uh, like their last pre-season game which isn't great at all. And like those reasons are the main reasons for me not wanting to have them anymore. So I traded them with a bot but still I lost a lot of money I think. Or not a lot but I, uh, I lost some money. I think I traded him uh, all offers, accepted offers. Uh, where is it? Uh, <coughs> I think it was like 40 euros or something, but like very, very accepted offers. There we go. I think it was here. Um, yeah, here we can see it. It was Sir His the Swapbot, much better than Basilbot. Just, I want to just put it out there. If you're going to trade, I would much rather you trade with Sir His the Swapbot because I think he uh, makes much better deals. But we sold every single uh, Rosenberg prayer that I bought and we got 40 euros. And I have, of course, a spreadsheet of everything. And all these players cost me 45 euros, so we lost 5 euros. Which isn't the greatest, but still, uh, I think these type of players will go down a lot more in the future. Um, but we kept uh, Andre Hansen because we need goalkeepers and he will actually be uh, playing a, a small part in this game week. Uh, and also, now I really need to hear your thoughts. And about the Manchester United collection, I, I was very tempted to actually pick up a classic season Manchester United collection because we know that there are so many new competitions now. Of course, it's the new Sawyer. I'm so excited. I will also show the lineups now very soon. Um, but I thought to myself, I want to hear with you guys first. And at the moment, we have, of course, Stuttgart, Newcastle, Real Sociedad, Bologna, and also Brest. Do you think we should go uh, more, uh, like build more collections? Um, and yeah, just please leave it in the comments because I want to hear every single one of your guys' thoughts on that. Uh, but now we could go through the lineups, I think, because there aren't too much to inform you guys on. We haven't signed any new players, although I think we have signed one new player. Uh, I need to just check that if that was, yeah, we have signed Joe Willock. That is, um, that is, yeah, here we have signed Joe Willock, uh, which is, a player that actually starts now very soon, so I've, I'm filming this in on a Saturday, so uh, this will be very very interesting. I got a little bit of a bonus on him as well, which is nice, so I'm very excited to see the Newcastle game. But now we can actually go through the lineups, and starting off we have the Premier League in-season first team. We are in the Division 2, and that is also something I need to uh, inform you guys on. Let's, let's just do it fast, because uh, we could just first go through which divisions we are in in Limited. We are in uh, in in season division two, uh, division and also division three, or I can just say the best division we're in in each. In Premier League, we are in division two. In Champion, we're in division one, which is very exciting. In Challenger, we aren't in any division. In Contender, we are in division two, which is very nice. Uh, but that isn't uh, for the collection to glory. I think it's just for my Gvangu boys. Uh, and yeah, that's it. But let's go through the lineups now. Starting off with Premier League in season, uh, I can just refresh this because I think everyone is uh, going to uh, 
starting if you go yeah here we can see uh, Premier League in season limited and here we can see that I'm not the best Newcastle collect collector because we can see that I'm on 21st with every single starting but I think that my team is a little bit different different from anyone else so this could uh, potentially do very well very well either way um, but yeah I'm very happy with this uh, constructed lineup this is the first team this weekend uh, and this is going to be the second team. Everyone starts here. A little, it's a little bit bad that Neto plays against McNeil, but still, hopefully, this can just get over the line and win some Euros. And the next one is Champion in season. This is the last team, the fifth division team. Hopefully, this can just win something. We have uh, triple defense in Brest and also attacking a duet with uh, Fabiani and also Riccardo Ursolini. Uh, also, champion in season, we have, this is the first team, Division 1 team. This is the team I expected to to do the best. Only downside is that I don't know if Salamankers is nailed, but if he's going to play, I think he will bring home a very good score. And also, the two best Stuttgart boys in uh, Mikkelstad and Gurasin. Also, in uh, like the second team, we have gone for a full Stuttgart collection. Uh, like the next best things besides Mittelstadt and Gurasi. Uh, hopefully this can perform as well. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this isn't the collection to glory. Uh, and here we have the all-star. We have a Kiefer Moore already playing and not the greatest score, but he has a double game week, so uh, he can do well in the next game. We hope for that. And also we have three players from Brest and also Alex Remiro. Cap 270, a little bit of a thrower lineup. Uh, and now it's especially a throwaway lineup because uh, Daniel Marlon is injured by the looks fit, which is the greatest at all. Uh, but hopefully he gets uh, fit soon. And then we have a cap to 40, very risky lineup with Calafiori, which isn't expected to play or start, I mean. Uh, and also Andre Hansen in goal uh, with a very, very favorable fixture. And also Enzo Mio, Merino, and also Uyar Sabal. And that is it for this game week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams. Uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty great. And of course, now there will be fewer teams because they have removed specialists. And that's also why I want to expand because, of course, the Rosenborg collection, uh, I did sell them because uh, I, ex I have explained why because of the collection bonus removal, uh, because, of course, the new season cards and everything. Uh, and therefore, I want to hear your thoughts. What should I do in the future when it comes to the uh, collection to glory boys because in my opinion we look pretty set in champion if you go to see collections and then we go uh, here and then we go to limited uh, and this is also the in-season uh, competition of course we have only in-season uh, collections uh, we have Stuttgart, Newcastle, Real Sociedad, Bologna and Brest as I mentioned and if, if we go into every one of them we have almost completed the Brest so we don't need to worry too much about that Bologna, we have the most important players, besides, of course, Viktor Kristiansen. Um, <clears throat> but the rest, we have the most important players here, definitely. And uh, in Real Sociedad, we have also the most important players. Maybe we need to pick up Javier Galan and Takia Fusu Kubo, but I think Kubo is very expensive. Um, and also, Geraldo Becker could be a player we could potentially get in the team. And also, Sakarian. Here, we actually need to buy some more players, in my opinion. And then we have Newcastle, of course, uh, which we are very, very set on. Of course, we don't have Liveramento and uh, Tonali and also Joe Linton, but those uh, three are very expensive and don't have any utility at the moment. Uh, and then we also have, of course, Stuttgart, which we are almost finished. Uh, Dahoud could we actually potentially get, and also Castanatas. Uh, but still here we are very, very set. And uh, I think, should we go to other regions? That is what I want to hear your guys' opinions on. Should we move, move to Challenger, ch uh, Contender? Because that was the initial plan with the Rosenborg boys. But of course, that was a mistake. We lost some money on. But of course we move. We are here to fight. And uh, hopefully we can win something this weekend. And I will of course catch you next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.